Okay, so you can see here we've got the market and API status window open. You can see in the middle here, I've obviously done traded this race, and you can see um, if I click to green up, market's just going to go in play. If I click now to put in my bets, it's green up. It's just in that, it's in play, so it'll take a few seconds to get matched. There we go. Um, you can see the background has now changed to white with a green figure to show that. Um, I've greened up the position and that's across the market so if you just click when you have an open position if you click in this box um, it will green up all of your positions across the market um, you'll have also noticed that the uh, background has changed um, and you'll notice that the clock is counting up so it's got a green background to show that um, the market is in play as you can see the clock's counting up, there's no stars either side because um, we had this market open and so as soon as the market went in play it started counting up so it knows exactly how long uh, the market's been in play for. So I'll just close this market and reopen it and you'll see that it will estimate the uh, off time and how long the market's been in play and you'll see a stars either side. So I'll just do that now and you can see there it's got the stars either side so if we look at that that's 1 minute 50 so in play so I'll just close the market at 1.55 there we go and I'll open it again now and you can see its estimation of the time is pretty much spot on but obviously use that as a guide it is an estimation and not an exact figure you'll have also noticed when the market turned in play it suspended and it came up with suspended um, We've got the uh, back over round on the left. We've got the lay over round on the right. It's constantly updating. Um, we've got the figure here on the left, which is showing the number of uh, API calls made in the last second. Uh, that will constantly changing because it's constantly updating as one call comes back and another one goes out. So it's not updating every second. It's updating constantly. So it's roughly around seven uh, calls at the moment. Uh, on the figure on the right it shows the response time of the last API call in milliseconds. Um, you might have seen uh, during the video that went over a thousand milliseconds so this figure showed up in red. Obviously you've got the little question mark here for the help which will load up the market and API status help window. Um, if I right click over the header of the window you've got the various options so you can dock it, put it back into the main info bar. I personally prefer to have it uh, floating. Um, you can change the layout, you can stop the API, refresh, so click that and it will stop and it comes over stopped. But if you just want to open it up again you can double click in this area, so double click and it starts again. And if you want to stop it again, a shortcut is just double click in that area, it will leave that running. Um, you can turn on and off the book percentages, so we've done that. And obviously that also turns off the uh, position on the market. Put that back on. You've got the show API info. You can turn that on and off. Put that back on. Um, you've got the API API threshold, which goes from 500 down to uh, 200, 2,000, I should say. That's in, in milliseconds. So what that means is that if this um, the response time of the last API call goes over the API threshold, which I've got set at a thousand. It will go in, turn red, and it will show the number of calls that are over that threshold and how far over they are. One final thing: you've obviously got showing taskbar, so you can have it so uh, the window shows in the taskbar.